The Ankh is one of the oldest and most common symbols in ancient Egypt. A symbol of life itself, it's shaped like a cross with an oval head, with three arms that widen slightly as they stray from the center of the cross. The symbol holds significance in many cultures and faiths, but it originated in ancient Egypt. The Ankh is a mysterious symbol and there's debate over its exact origins and meanings. The earliest hieroglyphic representations of the Ankh symbol date back to 3000 BCE, over 5000 years ago. However, scholars believe that the symbol is probably even older than that and dates back to antiquity. The Ankh can be found everywhere in ancient Egyptian architecture and artwork, indicating that it was one of an extremely important symbol, laden with meaning. The symbol is often portrayed in Egyptian representations of deities and royalty. The most common depiction of the Ankh is as an offering by an Egyptian god to a king or queen, with the Ankh typically held to the ruler's mouth. This probably represented the idea of the gods giving the Egyptian rulers eternal life, making them living embodiments of divinity. The symbol can also be seen on the sarcophagi of many Egyptian rulers. Historians know that the Ankh represents life because of its later use, but it's still unclear why the symbol is shaped as it is. There are several different theories attempting to explain the symbol's shape. The Ankh is a knot. Many scholars believe that the Ankh is not actually a cross, but is a knot formed from reeds or cloth. This is widely accepted as a likely hypothesis as earlier representations of the Ankh show its lower arms as being somewhat flexible, similar to the ends of a knot. This would explain both the widening arms of the Ankh as well as the oval loop-like head. Other early representations of the Ankh also look very similar to the Tayat symbol which is known as the Knot of Isis. This knot hypothesis can also be connected to the symbolism of life of the Ankh as knots often represent life and eternity in many cultures, for example, the wedding band. The Ankh is water and air. Some believe that the Ankh is a representation of water and air, two elements necessary for the existence of life. This hypothesis is supported by the fact that many ancient Egyptian water vessels were designed in the shape of the Ankh. The Ankh is a sex symbol. There's also the idea that the Ankh may be a visual representation of a sexual act. The loop at the top may represent the woman's womb, while the rest of the symbol could represent the man's penis. The side arms of the cross could represent the children birthed from the union of male and female. This is an undeniably fitting hypothesis, as it fits in with the Ankh's meaning as the symbol of life, while also explaining its shape. However, this hypothesis isn't supported by archaeological evidence. The Ankh is a mirror. Another popular hypothesis is that the Ankh's shape is based on that of a handheld mirror. The idea was suggested by 19th century Egyptologist Victor Loret. There is some archaeological evidence to tie the Ankh to mirrors, namely that the symbol was often found in the ancient Egyptian words for mirror and flower bouquet. However, while the Ankh does look like a handheld mirror, there are several problems with this idea, some even acknowledged by Loret himself. For one thing, most ancient depictions of deities or pharaohs holding or passing the Ankh to other characters have them holding the Ankh by the hoop. Another problem is the fact that connecting handheld mirrors to the concept of life is a stretch. Regardless of all the possible meanings of the Ankh, this symbol has one clear and unquestionable meaning. It's the symbol of life. In hieroglyphics, it's been used in all possible derivatives of the word life, including live, health, fertility, nourish, alive. As we've already mentioned, the Ankh is often depicted as being passed on by gods to pharaohs, symbolizing that pharaohs are the living embodiments of gods, or that they're at the very least blessed by them. The Ankh was also used in various positive expressions and greetings such as, may you be healthy or alive. I wish you long life or health. Alive, sound, and healthy. 
It was also one of the most common symbols in tombs and on sarcophagi, as the ancient Egyptians were strong believers in life after death. Because it was so often depicted with gods and pharaohs, the Ankh was also closely associated with royalty and divinity. As gods gifted the Ankh to pharaohs and queens, so these rulers were often worshipped as givers of life for the common people. Some have mistaken the Ankh for a Christian cross, as the shape of the two are somewhat similar. However, while the Christian cross is a horizontal crossbar placed upon a vertical beam, the Ankh is a vertical beam ending in a loop. During the period of Christianization of Egypt, in the early 4th to 5th centuries AD, a variation of the Ankh was appropriated to represent a Christian cross. As the Ankh relates to life and the afterlife, it represented the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus. Sometimes the Ankh is used upside down to represent its opposite meaning, anti-life or death. The Christian cross also, when inverted, is typically interpreted as representing negative aspects of the faith, such as the Antichrist. The Ankh and the Christian cross have had some overlaps, thanks to early Christians adopting the symbol. However, today, it's viewed more as a secular symbol and one that represents Egyptian heritage. Because of how recognizable it is, the Ankh is one of the most popular ancient symbols in contemporary art and fashion. It's typically used in jewelry, often carved into elaborate earrings, necklaces, and other accessories. Many popular celebrities such as Rihanna, Katy Perry, and Beyonce have been seen wearing the Ankh symbol, enhancing its popularity and relevance. The Ankh's positive meaning makes it a welcoming symbol in virtually any form of fashion and art. Because it's a unisex symbol, it suits men and women. It's a popular symbol for tattoos and can be found in many variations. Some believe that the Ankh is a Christian cross, with Christians sometimes wearing the Ankh as a representation of their faith. However, the Ankh's original significance has little to do with the Christian faith. The Ankh's symmetrical and beautiful design continues to be popular in modern society. While it contains an aura of mystery and enigma, this ancient symbol has many positive connotations. What do you think about the Ankh? Do you see it as an Egyptian or Christian symbol? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, as it really helps us with the YouTube algorithm.